guys welcome back to another vlog i am about to start getting ready we are going to dallas today i have an appointment in like an hour and a half so i have to get ready like pretty quick i'm going to get my lips more dissolved um i went probably like a month and a half ago i think and got two like lumps that i didn't like out which now they're gone but now everything else looks lumpy so i am getting ready for that i'm not gonna do a ton of makeup because she's just gonna like wipe away or my mouth but i'm about to blow dry me other than that we don't have many plans we're gonna go to get lunch at a place right next to the med spa um they don't have here near us so i'm excited for that it's one of my favorite restaurants i'm just going to do a quick blowout i'm using the way leave-in conditioner i'm also going to use the Kenra blow dry spray i love this it smells delicious i wish all of Kenra's products smelled like this and i would literally get the entire line and then i want to use like a volumizing mousse or something I think my nipples about to pop out of this I'm wearing this little bodysuit. Super cute. Bodysuit is from Vitality. I need to organize my little drawer in here. Because I swear it's just a mess. I have like just random stuff. Okay, to get some volume in my hair, I'm going to use the Southern Bell Volume Boosting Root Lifter from Dry Bar. I love the smell of this too. Oh, it's freezing. I've noticed my hair is like extra fine and flat recently, I think because I haven't bleached it. So it's like not dead at the root. So I feel like I need to use this. But yeah, I figured I would take you guys along for another weekend, see what we get up to. Um, we don't really have any more home projects planned since we did our accent wall, but I don't know, I kind of want to redo some bathrooms and stuff like that. I'm using my Dyson Airwrap, of course. Um, I'm gonna blow dry my hair and I won't make you guys listen to that. Okay, my hair is done. I have like five to 10 minutes. So I'm just going to do, I think it's going to do some tinted sunscreen. This is the La Roche-Posay tinted sunscreen. Because it is pretty similar to my current skin tone. So whenever she wipes off um, my makeup, it won't be like big pale spots. And then just a little bit of concealer. Just the instant age line. I'm gonna do a little powder bronzer. This is the MAC. Give me sun. A little bit of blush. This is Patrick Ta. She's blushing. I'm gonna slick up my brows with the e.l.f. brow lift. And then I'm just gonna do some mascara. The L'Oreal Telescopic. I'm like sweating. 11 a.m. and it says 45 minutes to get there but it's Dallas so it's traffic so I want to leave like now okay what perfume I think I'm gonna do the Miss Dior perfume Okay, I just got back from getting part of my lip filler dissolved. I just did the center because it was getting like a little bally because I got just this and this dissolved um, back in May. So we did the center this time and then we will reevaluate in a couple weeks and see if we need to add a little bit to like soften the lines. But this is the first time I've dissolved without a dental block and it was only three pokes and it burnt pretty bad. And my tongue is numb from the numbing cream and it feels disgusting. But 
I go to Haley at Skin Spirit in Dallas. Um, this is the Preston Royal location. And Gage was nice enough to come with me. <sighs> but this appointment was a lot quicker than the other ones I normally bring you to. Mm -hmm. Those are normally like an hour, whenever it's like filler and Botox. Yeah, you've been going to this girl since you were 20. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> thanks. Yeah. yeah, I've been going to Haley since I was 20. Honestly, no it was 20. It was right before we started dating, which is when I was 21. Cause the first time I got filler was like six months before we started dating. But yeah, it's not really that swollen. Nope. The first time I got Dissolver, it like puffed up like a fish. To my part. Yeah, I locked it, so it's just on that screen. Okay, well. But we're about to go into Flower Child. This is one of my favorite restaurants and, oh, okay. <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Hungry. Yeah. What are you gonna get? I don't know what they have. Okay. Okay, it's a couple hours later. If you remember from the last vlog, Gage got a new Xbox and I took his old one and set it up in the living room to play Sims. So we did that today. Got it all set up. I started. Sims is kinda hard. I don't know, I'm I'm a Nintendo girly. So just the controller and everything is a little bit different, which makes it a little bit harder. So yeah, I made my character, made her super cute. And then I like got into my little town and it's hard. So I turned it off and um, I got re-ready. I took my makeup off, did a fresh face. And I think we're about to go into Fort Worth. I really want to go to Aloe and get a new like workout outfit. They have this really pretty blue color that I want. Um, I want to get like the sweatshirt or something. So I think we're going to do that. And then since we're going to be in that area, I think we're going to get dinner. Maybe it's a Saturday night. So it's like kind of busy, but that is the plan right now. Now I just have to convince Gage to get off his Xbox and go. Good morning guys. I did not vlog last night after we went to dinner and aloe and stuff. My allergies got so bad, I was literally just like a waterfall, like my nose. And anytime I like breathed through my nose, this like, it would tickle barely and then I would sneeze like forever. It was so bad, but we still committed and went to aloe and to dinner. It was just like miserable for me. And then as soon as we got home, I went like right in the shower, got ready for bed. So I didn't film for y'all, so I'm sorry. But we did go to aloe, so I'm gonna do a little aloe haul. Clearly, if you're familiar with aloe, you know you get these bags if you spend a certain amount of money, which we did. Um, but we didn't really get that many things. Gage got an outfit, and then I got an outfit, and then we got a hat. So first, I'll start with Gage. I love it whenever he like finds something that he likes and actually gets it instead of me just picking out all his clothes. So this actually is really cute. This is. Just like a, it's like a blue gray shirt. It's super soft. Um, but yeah, he picked that out. It was just, I think it's just one of their like more relaxed tees. It's not like a workout material. It's just like cotton or something. Cause he has the workout ones and he has like a thick material one. This is not that. And sorry, I still sound a little congested because I am. Okay, and then next for Gage, he got these to be like a little outfit. These like cream tan colored shorts. He has these in black and I love them. These are the Conquer React Performance Shorts. And this is the colored bone. I love these. Like I said, he has these in black. And every time he wears them, just like the fit is like so good. I love them and they're so soft and they don't have a liner, which he hates the liner. So these are just like perfect. And honestly, they're like soft enough to be like pajama shorts for me. Layla, don't do anything with those. But yeah, that's what Gage got. And then he also got a new hat. We have like all of, almost all the colors. We love these aloe hats. We're pretty picky, both of us. I don't ever wear hats, but if I do, it's gonna be like a trucker style, like aloe hat. Um, but I don't like hats that much in general, so I don't like just share with him. But he also is pretty picky with hats because the head shape is a little weird, he thinks. So this is a really good shape for him. Um, so yeah, we got white 
which I think will be really cute. He wore it last night and it is just like, it's perfect for summer. It makes you look so tan. And then I got this new, I don't remember the color, chestnut. It's like their new um, color. I just got an email on it like last week, I think. I got these like ribbed biker shorts, super cute. I don't think I own any aloe biker shorts. I have leggings, I have sweatpants, skirts, but I don't think I have biker shorts. So this is gonna be a cute outfit. And then I got this new, I think it's a new style. This is, I only saw this style in like two colors and I really wanted it in like the baby blue, but they did not have it. Um, but this like crop tank sports bra, high neck. So this matching set, I think I'm going to put it on right now and then do a quick workout. But yeah, this is the chestnut, chestnut seamless ribbed favorite bra tank. And it has a cute little like Y back. So really cute. And then I got this like free sample or whatever for the Aloe Glow System body, body polish and Magic Multi Balm. So I love getting their little samples like this. I use them. So, so like I said, I think I'm gonna put that set on, do a workout. I need to feed the dogs. I need to feed Layla. I'm gonna work out. It is like kind of like stormy here today. Um, it's like forecasted to storm. It was forecasted to storm like early this morning. I don't think it hit us. I think it hit a little bit north of here, but I think it'll be a great day to just like chill inside. Gage got called into work, so he's gonna be gone until tomorrow, until I get home from work. Um, so that's unfortunate, but it's kind of inevitable. Um, he's a pilot, if you didn't know, he's been sitting on reserve um basically sitting at home all day every day because he's so senior and they finally used him because the whole like microsoft outage or whatever a couple days ago and then just like weather people calling in sick so he got used today just for an overnight so he will be back tomorrow whenever i go home from work um i think i'm gonna do a sunday reset today i haven't done like a real sunday reset like me myself normally I have gauge help a tiny bit and now that he's not here I get to like fully be involved with every single part of cleaning this house which I love um there's so much dog hair everywhere it just piles up every day so I really want to like get everything we have lots of laundry to do as well for work um, but yeah, I'm gonna feed the dogs, put this workout fit on, do a workout. I kind of want to do like a form workout or like, I don't know. I want something sweaty. So I need to figure out something like that to do. So this is the new set on. I actually really like the biker shorts. They don't like squeeze my thighs or anything. Um, I don't love like most regular like workout brands biker shorts on the butt because they like don't do anything for it that's why i love my vitality biker shorts with like the the glute seam but i like this top i took the pads out because i don't need those but yeah that's cute i'm feeding the animals right now about to feed the dogs and then i'm gonna go work out i need to clean up all of this mess, clean up the couch, clean up the bed. I just got off the phone with Gage and I told him I might go to Lulu Lemon today because they just came out with a new style of their like leggings and biker shorts with like the, the glute seam um, and it, they're like super thin and breathable. So I was gonna go see if they had those in my local Lulu and pick them up, but we'll see maybe. I won't, maybe I'll order online. I haven't done that in a while for Lulu. I feel like all the good stuff goes really quick at Lulu, especially like a black pair of leggings or biker shorts in my size. They definitely go quick. And I think these pants and shorts came out a couple days ago. So probably, I don't know. I think I can see also if they're in stock online. So we'll do that. Do I have hungry puppies?
Okay, sit. Stay. Paw. Are you drooling, paw? Paw? Give me your paw. Paw. Okay, eat. Good boy. Good job, eat. Kona's a little bit more shy. Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. I did my little workout. I did um, just like, kind of like a short leg day, except for, I did like three movements and all three I went like pretty heavy. So I was sweating quite a bit. Um, so that felt good. And then I walked on the treadmill to um, before and after. So that was good. I just feel so lazy working out at home, but there's literally like no good gyms around me. Like it's not fair. Um, there's like a little local gym, but it's full of like all the locals, which is fine, but like there's never really like a dead time. And Gage and I like to go. We don't like to go, but we have to go at night, like 8 p.m., um, just because we don't like the crowds. And once it gets like past the adult crowd, it's now the teenage boys, like the high school boys. And those are like the worst. No offensive. No, there is offense. If you're like an 18 year old boy going to the gym with like your group of friends and you are being like super obnoxious, this is offensive to you and I don't appreciate it. I feel like it's like, I don't know, as a high school boy, like you feel like you have to be annoying at the gym. I don't know. Cause it's been many gyms and it's like the boys that just go flex in the mirror. Anyway, so there's like a little local gym um, and it's just not very big. So like it's, you know, all the people really do add up. I have to sneeze. It went away. Um, and then we have an anytime fitness bias, like the chain, and it's so small. It's actually not that small. It's just laid out all horizontally, very skinny. So if you have to like walk to one end, you have to pass like a million people, which is super annoying too. So, and then there's other gyms, but they're like 25 minutes from us. And that's just not it. So that's why we have our like gym equipment in the house, but it's so hard to get motivated in your own home. But, oh no, I ruined it. Oh, that's gonna be so ugly. Okay, I'm making pancakes right now, protein pancakes and drinking a protein shake. And after I eat this, I'm going to start my Sunday reset, I think. But yeah, that's my rant of the day is the high school boys at the gym. And it's totally different. Like there has been, um, we went to a different anytime a couple years ago and there was a group of high schoolers, but they were like actually high school boys. They were actually dedicated to like working out and getting better and not just sitting in the mirror flexing and taking selfies and then hogging like 10 different things at once. And those were the nice ones. Um, they were all really kind too. And it was like a group of like four or five boys. Um, and they would help each other and it was really adorable. But the boys I'm talking about now are the ones that, I don't know what's happening. Um, ow, that's hot. That was a fail. Um, it's the boys that do like, two sets, are grunting the entire time, super loud, take their shirt off, like, in a public gym, which is fine if you go into, like, the room or whatever and, like, practice posing if you're doing, like, bodybuilding or something, but they're just, like, straight up working out, like, shirtless, which, again, that's why I work out at my house, because if I want to work out in a sports bra, I can. But about to eat my pancakes, this one turned out not cute. I messed up. Oh wait, I still have more mix. This is, I don't know what's going on. 
Okay. Never mind. I'm losing it, I think. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what's happening, so I'm just going to spare you of this and talk to you later. I am still cleaning. I've been cleaning for hours now. It's a lot. I'm like trying to do the most, basically. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to heat up some of our leftovers from last night. I'm eating gauges because that's what sounds the best. So, Gage, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Um, we don't know when he's getting home, so I'd rather not like wait for you know him to get home to eat it. Um, the waitress said this is actually really good heated up on like a pan. But I'm in the middle of cleaning, so I'm not doing that. I don't think this will fit in this bowl though. But this is their like pasta of the day. I don't remember what it was. It's like a, it's kind of like a chicken parm, but instead of like a red sauce, it's Alfredo, maybe. Um, that's what Gage is explaining it as. But it's like an Alfredo, like garlicky sauce with chicken and cheese so it's pretty good it's probably gonna bloat me like crazy with all the cheese and milk and stuff but i'm hungry and this sounds really good i'm doing like a really deep clean so i'm like using chemicals and i'm like dying um it's super hot in here i have the fans turned off so like more dust isn't flying around everywhere because i'm cleaning the fans and I'm just like, it's like a workout, honestly, cleaning. And I still have so much to go, so. I'm so tired. It's so hot in my bathroom. I just took a pretty hot bath. Um, I use that like mustard bath mix for like a detox along with Epsom salt and then I took a shower and really just like washing my hair in like the hot water it's just it's hot at the very end I had to turn it to cold which it doesn't even get very cold because it's like 100 degrees outside <sighs> but now I'm getting ready for bed doing my nightly skincare um, for my face moisturizer. I've been using Vanna cream and castor oil. I think it's going viral right now on TikTok from a girl. It's like vanilla swirl or something. Um, I used castor oil before like on my body and like eyebrows eyelashes but I didn't really mix it in to my face moisturizer I didn't really use it on my face that much uh, maybe like once a week or like whenever I was like super dry but now I've been doing it every day and I think I really like it the Love Island finale is on tonight so that's exciting it's super sad that Gage isn't here to watch it with me because we've watched every single episode together this season. Um, so of course, like the, the night of the finale is when he gets called to work. But I probably need to make myself like a little snack or dinner or something. Uh, I'm not like starving, but I know I need something. Cleaning like really took it out of me, so. And I still have so much laundry to do. I have to uh, wash one of my rugs. I need to wash my clothes. Um, I have another rug that I want to wash. These are all like washable rugs, so it's fine. But yeah, I posted my Sunday reset. It took me forever to edit, um, but I did it when I was in the bath. So that's also probably why I'm like exhausted right now but that's on my TikTok so go watch that I'm gonna feed the dogs get myself a snack continue laundry and I will catch up with you guys bye, -bye.
Papa, are you watching Love Island with Mom? Because Dad's not home. So sweet. We're watching Love Island. Um, it's like halfway over now. They're on their dates. I feel like it could be between Kenny and Janae and Serena and um, Cordell. I feel like I voted for Serena and Cordell. I'll just tell you that. But I don't know. I feel like they saved Jenny, uh, Jenny, <laughs> Kenny and Janae to the very end for the dates. That sounded really weird, but whatever. Um, so I don't know. That could be a sign. And I feel like they've just been like solid basically the entire time. Like not Serena and Cordell, how it's like back and forth, back and forth. But I made popcorn as my little dinner snack. I made a smoothie, um, a protein shake earlier. So this is my my warm dinner. This is how I have to take care of myself when Gage is gone. Yum. I just finished Love Island. Um, it was cute. I'm surprised who second place was. That's crazy, but it was good. Really happy for them and happy that there's gonna be a reunion. So that's really cool. Um, I am now making chia seed water because it's been all over my for you page on TikTok. Um, and I can definitely use some fiber. I don't know if it's okay to drink like before bed though, so. But I'm gonna let it sit and get all thick and stuff. Well, and make sure that the house is ready for bed. But I think that this is going to be the end of the video. Um, I have nothing else planned. I'm probably gonna edit this tomorrow and Tuesday and try to get it up Tuesday or Wednesday. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the future or if you just like these like weekend in my life videos. My life is pretty boring, but I do like to take you guys along and also just to get the memes. And also I love looking back on my videos like a couple months later and just seeing how different I am now versus then. It's kind of crazy. Oh, if you want to update on my um, lip filler dissolving, it's way better. Now, I still have filler like over here. That's why it looks like that. It's more full and we did a lot of dissolver in these two creases. So it's like really empty. But yeah, it's looking way better and I like my face a lot better. Um, but yeah, so this will be the end of the video. I hope I get it up soon for y'all. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know what you wanna see um, next time in the comments below. And make sure you guys follow me on TikTok and Instagram as well. And I will see you guys next time.